Alrighty guys, so welcome to the video. Today I wanted to go over a unique software that I found that has a unique feature that can help you with your system responsiveness and helps a lot with your CPU um, FPS issues and can even alleviate a lot of other things like input lag. And so what I'm talking about today is a process known as Process Explorer. And what this specific process does is it has the unique ability to eliminate or kill deadlocked threads. Now, to explain really quickly what a deadlocked thread is, is when two different threads want to access a piece of information, but that piece of information relies on another piece of information to be executed. And so essentially, thread one waits on thread two, but thread two is also waiting on thread one. Now, you might be asking, how is that possible? Well, the reason why that happens is because the software doesn't always have an ability to constantly keep refreshing itself to analyze and check or validate that those are deadlocked threats. And so this can hog system resources, and it's a huge impactor for the ability for the system to run smoothly. And so the way that you can do this is if you go into Task Manager, and here I have Overwatch open right now, and then if I click on Analyze Weight Chain, as we can see, there are a bunch of deadlock threads on this system. I believe we have like almost five or six right here. And that is a ton of threads that are bottlenecked and are not being useful for anything. And I only have three that are functional and normal. So the way that we get around this issue is if we open up Process Explorer and then we go down and we look for the certain software that we're using, so that's overwatch.exe, and we double click it. If we go into the Threads tab, and then we sort it by the thread identif identification device. Well, we can go and find all of these deadlock threads. So for example, 7836, if I go right here and I find 7836, you can see that it's actually being utilized right now. So it's not just a inactive thread that isn't actually taking CPU cycles. No, it is legitimately taking cycles and they are being deadlocked. So that's why this is huge for system performance and can actually potentially help you out a lot if you have a ton of deadlocked threads. And so if I go into here and I click kill, you'll notice that Overwatch is still functional as it is, and I'll be booting it up here in just a second. So then we go to 8016. And again, these are actually being utilized. These are not just inactive threads that just, uh, you know, they're just, they're just threads that are sitting there, but they're not negatively harming it extra. No, these are actually running right now. So if I kill that one as well. Now, if I go down and we see that we have 7,832, so then we go down and we find 7,832, we kill that one, and then we can find 7,412, all righty, 7,412, we kill that one, and then 7,424, all righty. So now that we finally killed all of those deadlock threads that were hogging resources, well, if we close out of this and we close out of that, and we reanalyze the weight chain, you'll notice that we don't have any more deadlocked threats. So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Have a good one. My name's Savaterix and I'm out.